Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to create a screencast using QuickTime Player. So I'm going to navigate up here to my spotlight and I'm going to type in QuickTime. Just QUI gets it done. And I want the new one. I don't want QuickTime Player 7. I want QuickTime Player. Got that? Okay. Once this opens up, all I have to do is go to File and I want a new screen recording and this little console opens up. Something that we need to make sure is in play is this bar is showing the sound that's coming in. By default when you start this is set microphone set to none and it doesn't record sound. It can be really frustrating to do a whole screen recording and then realize you didn't get any of the sound, any of your narration. So I want to click this down arrow and go to built-in internal microphone. All right, I think we're ready. What I'm going to show you today is a new website that I built that third graders are helping build and is beneficial to just about any kid that's interested in beaches and oceans around the world. So in order to do that, I press this button right here, and that'll start our screen recording. It says click to record the full screen, drag to record part of the screen. Well, I want the full screen. So here we go. And we are recording. So if you go out here to mrlosik.blogspot.com and you go down under quick essential links, there's now a link to what's called the Great Beach Exploration. So I click on that. As I mentioned, this is a website that third graders at Bentime Elementary and Blue Star Elementary here in Hamilton, Michigan are helping to build and spearhead. And if you look at our map, you see all the different classes that are participating. We've got one out here in Craig, Alaska that's on board. We've got several here in Michigan all the way up. We have a group down here in Stevensville, Michigan. We've got our kids here in Hamilton studying Saugatuck Dune State Park. We've got a group in Grand Haven talking about Grand Haven State Park and then all the way up here we have Mrs. Kovach's second graders in Ludington, Michigan. Now we've also got a group of schools navigate this a little better down here in Florida. Let's move down. See we've got quite a few in the Panhandle right around Pensacola Beach and they're covering all different parts. And then we've got one school here in Spring Hill, and we have a school in Daytona Beach. What's really exciting, though, is that we've had schools from not only the United States jump on board, but if we come all the way down to the South Pacific Ocean, oop, not that far, we have a school in New Zealand, Point England, New Zealand, which is near Auckland. We have year three and four students. And then we scoot across Oceania to Australia. And we have Mr. Scott's year three class in Coinda Primary School in Bunbury, Australia. Alrighty, so what these schools, and we have a bunch of other schools uh, participating here. Here's a whole list of them. But what these schools are doing is they're creating exploration pages. Each school is answering 18 questions, the same 18 questions, so that kids from all over, whether their classes are participating or not, can go and compare and contrast what beaches are like around the world and some of the issues with them. So let's take a look at our exploration page. Here's our page that we've been answering, and here are all the different questions. What beach are you studying? Nearest port city? What body of water is it on? What kind of water is it? A description? activities, fish, and yes, we've even added fish. I had to uh, add a picture of me with a king salmon I caught a couple summers ago. Uh, but we're also learning about sharks and dangers, the environment around it, what kind of wildlife lives there, as well as pollution. So we're really excited about this website, and we'll be adding more content. We'll be adding more pictures here. And then we're going to do some challenge-based learning where our third graders are going to come up with a project that can benefit the beaches and we're hoping that our partners around the world will do the same thing. So 
You can find this at uh, beachbums2012.wikispaces.com or you can also find it on mrlosick.blogspot.com. So there, my screen recording is finished. I hit stop. I'm all done with it. And now it pops up. Wow, that was a 3 minute and 31 second quick time video that I created. And it's pretty much done. Now, I can go in to this, and if I go up to edit, I can go to trim. And what trim lets me do is trim lets me watch and clean up the ends. All I'd have to do is just bring it back here. And I could add that and that one. Or at the beginning, I could uh, trim off any glitches that I want. Pretty cool thing. So that's basically how to create a screencast. You launch QuickTime Player. You go to File, New Screencast. New Screen Recording, sorry. You start recording. You give your tour. You stop it. And you're good. Now you can take that QuickTime Movie and you can put it into iMovie or you could trim it up or clean it up. But basically, if you want to show somebody how to do something on your desktop, make a quick recording of it, and you're good to go.